हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम मोहन एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू अ लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन If you're thinking about retiring this year due to the Iraqi dinar exchange rate, you might want to hold off for a bit. With the upcoming election season, there's uncertainty about who will take charge of the country and what actions might be taken against Iraq. The fact that the US Treasury has taken up an entire floor in the Central Bank of Iraq is concerning. Iraq has confirmed meetings with the Federal Reserve and the US Treasury at the end of August. The last meeting he had was unannounced, and it's likely that when he returns to the United States, he'll bring back something that should have been done a long time ago regarding the RV revaluation. There's a lot of anticipation in Iraq for this weekend, but no significant movement yet. We are waiting for news, and Iraqi contacts are hopeful that they can push for a revaluation to reduce the use of US dollars. There's a lot of hopeful talk, with many expecting a change on Sunday, which is just a day away. So we'll find out soon. Have you ever thought about what goes into a country's decision to print new currency? Imagine waking up one day to find out your country is changing its paper currency. What would that mean for the economy and your wallet? Today, we're diving into the hot topic in Iraq: whether the country might start printing new currency. This isn't just about money; it's about trust, stability, and the economic future of millions. Let's start with the recent statement from Iraq's Parliamentary Finance Committee, which confirmed that there's currently no intention to print new paper currency. But why is this news important? To understand, we need to look at Iraq's current economic situation. The country has faced numerous challenges over the years, from war and conflict to economic instability. Countries in crisis have often resorted to printing new money to manage debt or a declining economy, but this can lead to inflation and devalue the existing currency. For example, Zimbabwe in the late 2000s printed so much money that it caused hyperinflation. Where a loaf of bread could cost millions of Zimbabwean dollars. So, what would happen if Iraq decided to print new currency? The decision to print money is never taken lightly and must be supported by solid economic indicators. We need to ask: Is Iraq even in a position to consider this? Let's explore Iraq's economy today. Currently, Iraq's economy relies heavily on oil exports. When oil prices are high, the economy does well. But when they drop, it affects everyone. People lose jobs, businesses struggle, and the government's revenue decreases. It's a delicate balance. Now, let's discuss inflation. If the government printed new currency now, it could worsen inflation. The Parliamentary Finance Committee is likely aware of this and would want to avoid repeating past mistakes. This brings us to public trust. Trust in the currency is crucial for economic stability. If people believe their money might lose value. They might rush to exchange it for something more stable, creating a snowball effect that could harm the economy. However, if the government is careful and communicates effectively, it can maintain this trust. So, what other options does Iraq have instead of printing new money? One alternative is to strengthen the current currency by boosting the economy through investments. Iraq could create a healthier financial environment by investing in infrastructure. Education and other key sectors. These investments could lead to job creation and economic growth. Let's also consider how other countries have handled similar situations. For instance, in the early 2000s, Brazil faced hyperinflation. Instead of printing more money, they implemented strict economic policies to stabilize their currency, which proved to be effective. Returning to Iraq, while the Parliamentary Finance Committee has confirmed no plans to print new currency. Public discussions are important. Engaging the community in economic discussions can help everyone feel involved and informed. People can voice their opinions and concerns, leading to better decision making. What do you think will happen next regarding Iraq's currency? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What's your take on Iraq's money situation? Should they consider printing new currency, or should they explore other options? This situation highlights the broader themes of trust, economic stability, and public engagement. Before we wrap up, if you found this topic interesting. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with anyone interested in learning more about Iraq's economic situation. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on current events around the world.
Your voice matters, so drop your comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.